to Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. But ding. 10 minutes or All less. All right. TNT. What do you want? So, when, when you... it comes to a relationship, right? Oh, jeez. You know, everybody wants, I mean, ideally, everybody would want someone that, like, could be, like, be a friend. You actually love them. <clears throat> You know, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> you know, I like mean, a, a whole I, roundabout partner. I no, but no, I, I, this is going somewhere. I hope so. It is. It is. So, but but sometimes somebody that you actually love and care about can be very toxic for you. Sure. So would, so would you would you rather have a person in your life that was like your go-to par- partner or whatever that you like, that you really liked them as a person and they were kind and, they and, were and, kind. and treated you well, and you had a good relationship, but you weren't like overly ecstatic, like "Oh my God, I love you forever to death," or someone that you were heads over here and heels in love with, but you had a very toxic relationship because it was so strong emotionally. I, it, it, it's hard to even say because I don't think I've experienced the latter. <clears throat> right, where where you've been head over heels for someone, but like it was you were just like we aren't good for each other. Yeah, like, yeah. I've never I've never been there. Okay, I mean, that's fair, too. But there's lots of people who stay with in talk because, like, some people like that chemical turbulence, you know? It's like those, those like, bipolar highs and lows almost not, you know. No, bro, you you know me, man. If I I start getting that kind of vibe, I'm like, yo. (laughs) That's true. The second you're like, yo, they're riling me up too much. I guess, don't buy. Yeah, Yeah, that's true. That's true. You're very good at cutting ties if... You realize it's not going the way you want it to go. Yeah, it's a blessing and a curse, my friend. It really it's a is. Blessing and a curse. Because yeah, and exactly because I'm sure you've probably saved yourself a ton of turmoil. Yeah. But uh, you've probably cut someone out too soon that may have been someone who you could have really got along with down the road. Oh, absolutely. But in my situation, I have definitely like stayed with someone too long, and it has caused me turmoil. Mm. And then, but then you're like, it's that sunk cost fallacy where you're mm. like, I've already invested all this time with this person or like, mm. you know, or like, um, we have mixed finances or, you know, and that's what happens. Mm. So is it, if you're with someone and you're like, I really like this person as a person, I genuinely enjoy their company, but I don't know if I love them. Are you technically like cheating on them? Cheating on them for what? Like emotionally. Because you're not really... You're Who's not, the other person? What? Who's the other person? What do you mean? I mean, not cheating in the sense of whatever, but like if they're head over heels for you and you can tell they love you to death, you know, you can tell when a girl's smitten, right? Like Myron. And you're like, no, you all right. And But you stay with them because they're head over heels with you and you're like, you're all right. It makes it uncomfortable. I wouldn't say like it... I mean... Your feelings are your own in that in that kind of situation. Right, right, so right. it's like they don't necessarily belong to anybody else, and nor should anybody else have expectations on your feelings. Right, but but if someone's head over heels with you, do they deserve for you to be head over heels with them? So it's not an un unequitable sort of uh, thing. Well, I'm I'm gonna have to say is that it's always gonna be un unequal. It's always it's never gonna be the same both ways. That's true. So, but, but it also, I mean, I mean, you've been here. I know, like, I've, you've mentioned it in the last few years. Where some, where you're, you're like seeing someone, or I've done this too, and like you're like, yo, they like me way too much. You know, we're too fast. You know, we're like, yeah, you'll be like, yeah. oh god, like they're like, oh, they yeah. think we're a couple now, and we aren't a couple, or you know what I mean, or and that scares you off because you're like, yeah. yo, like I ain't ready for all that like oh. you're miring me it's the second date yeah i look it, over you're just like staring at me it's so crazy that you bring this up because you know I, I sit back and i look and i'm like i have dated a bunch of girls and i've had like flings with girls and i've had long relationships with girls and i'm like i guess i was supposed to make one of those work like what? I was supposed to make one no. of those relationships I've experienced work so I could have like a wife and kids now. Bro, we're both in the same area and I even had a wife and kids and look where I'm at. Same I diff- mean, yeah, but you gave it a shot. I never even really gave it a shot. You stepped up the plate, man. I've never left the but batter's you, you box. you did for a while. You were essentially... Bro, yeah. So I made it on the team, but I sat on the bench. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know? The backup quarterback still makes a lot of money, yo. You did seven years, man. You got on base. Seven years, seven years. You got on base, man. That's crazy. Ooh, we, I, I'm going to take the fifth on that one. Seven years. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless of how it turned out, right, it, right. No, the you're fact right. that you gave it a shot, yeah, well, it's but, just but like but I've also, never even done that. Also in my defense, or I don't know if it's defense, I wasn't expecting to have the kids when we when we got to get like I we mean, were together for a couple of years before her kids were our kids yeah so but. it's like so i was with her and already vested in her and when we got the kids she was like hey if you don't want to do this i get it but i was like i can at least try but like that we've wasn't, been, it wasn't necessarily that the kids were the turning point no no i love exactly. the kids I think the kids so were awesome yeah as far as i'm concerned they're not even like they're not even a part of the equation. Yeah, they're not I a part you. of the that equation. That makes sense. But yeah, no, I was like, but it's it's a different scenario because because to be completely honest with you, dude, if I meet someone that has kids up front, mm. that makes it a lot different if I'm going to date them and how I'm going to approach it and yada yada. Yeah. Well, to then be like, I have kids, they live with the other parent, and then all of a sudden you have to take them on, and then it's like, hey, do you want stepkids now or not? And you're like, yo, this is whoa. Okay, life's I mean, different. Yeah, now. it's whoa, but on the same note, it's like, yeah. Right. Yeah, chick. Guess what? Yeah. And now I'm taking care of your children too. Right. That just makes you look better. Right. That's if, true. That's that's, true. that's like a free BJ. It better once be, right? a week. Once, once a, a week, week free BJ. <laughs> anyway, so let me ask you this because because this is something just that you just said. You're like I should have made, you know, blah blah blah. I should have made one of those work. I probably should have made one of those work. Yada yada. And you said some of them were flings, blah, blah, blah. I know you lived with a girl for a while, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what was the difference with the girl you chose to be like, you know what? I could live with you and be cool with you compared to the other girls that you didn't. Was the relationship that good? Was she just too – like what What was right about her that wasn't right about the others? I'm an odd person, Jonas. All right? <laughs> You're like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm an odd person, and I definitely don't want anybody to hear this and think I should take dating advice from Dynamite because, I trust me, I failed. Um – I've only said I love you to, I want to say one woman, but it's probably two. Probably. Okay, right. Probably Other two. Other than your mother. In my entire life. And I have, I have been in contact with a lot of women in my life. And that's not a flex. I just, you know, it was, it came down to the point that we were in a relationship. We were seeing each other exclusively for a year. Oh, and you were like, oh, I don't a hate, I don't not want to be around you yet. And I was like. <laughs> I have to tell this person how I feel. I'm very, very sh sheltered or shielding. Yeah, yeah, or I like yeah. Your walls my, up. Yeah, exactly. My emotions, yeah. I guess. But on the same note, I don't necessarily want to tell somebody I love them and not mean it. That, just, oh, that yeah. sounds oh, absolutely no, no, nuts no. to me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So it just, it was just, I, I hung out with her enough. She had the right mentality. She had the right mindset. And I, I fell for it. I mean, hey, that's, that's what normally happens. Most people fall faster than you did, though. Yeah, but I'm but, not going to tell a chick that on the fifth date i'm not no. doing that that's never no. gonna happen well you know and i'm and i'm similar because like i i uh i very i use words a lot with people that i'm dating or whatever but i also am a hundred percent genuine with my words like i'm not gonna like if because like if okay so if i if i'm dating a girl and i think she's beautiful I will tell her she's beautiful, mm -hmm. but if I only think she's cute or whatever, I'm not going to tell you. No, listen, no, no, this is, I'm still going to, I'm still going <laughs> to, no, this is serious. Right. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say things I don't mean. So if, if, I, like, if I call you, if I call you gorgeous, I literally think you're gorgeous if, and you don't have to be a 10 to be gorgeous in oh, my mind, let's see. But, but if I think, but if I think you're, but if I think you're cute or I will, I will still compliment you but i i'm very choosy on the words i use what? to not make them untrue because so many people will throw around anything okay okay you know okay. like throw around any words and throw <laughs> i want to give you a big head bitch you're about to see so <laughs> but no i don't mean it, i don't mean it like that that's what it sounds but like I'm not, i don't want to falsely inflate someone's wow. ego and I don't want anyone to do that for me. Like I don't want someone to be like, "Hey, hottie." No, no, like, no, 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 yo, I'm not. No, 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 no I, I, I know where I know where I stand. No, yo, I need fine. that. I need that. <laughs> but but, it's, but <laughs> if, if it's false flag operation, yeah. So what? Uh, I don't dude. care. No, compliments is compliments That's is compliments. That's almost worse for me. I'm gonna look. My mom comes out in a dress for Sunday church or whatever, and she's like, "How's this look?" I'm gonna be like, "Mom, you look beautiful." No, that's yes, different. Making your you mom like. feel good is different. Is. <laughs> Yeah. Is that different? It is. It feels like it's kind of the same. 
I, I guess. I, I don't mean, know, I don't know. I don't mind. It's different than some girl you're dating. I mean, absolutely, but it's the same premise of. I don't care about giving compliments as compliments as compliments. I don't have to necessarily mean the compliment. People just like to hear nice things being said to them. That's fine. But I'm not going to tell a chick that my heart is in this relationship when it's really not. That's leading on. Compliments is one thing. That's just but I isn't want you to making f- like if someone if someone looks bad in a dress and you're like, yeah, honey, you look great. Isn't that misleading? Oh, OK. We'll see. I mean. You can you can take that fight up yourself if you want to. You tell a girl that the dress don't look good. Well, that dress, those pants, kind of make your ass look fat. But yeah. sometimes they want to hear that. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. It? I don't know. <laughs> Please make sure uh, to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. Mm. TNT. Uh, we out.